Wow. Nice. Now that the InsoFast is installed, you are ready for the electric, which is handled in detail in other videos. Next, inspect your thermal barrier and finish like filling in all the gaps and cracks of spray foam. Once this is done, you are ready to install your finished material or drywall. So uh, what, we're, what I'm going to do now is we've measured our height and width of our first sheet and now I'm going to go ahead and cut that and uh, Dan will install it. Yes I will. Talk about the electrical, that's easy. All the channels in the back of it make it easy to install all your wires, all your boxes. It's just fast. It's, uh, it's, an easy, it's definitely an easy install, the quickness of it. And it looks like it's going to be an easy finish. Our height. Now our width was 40 and a quarter. So we're going to measure it right here, 40 and a quarter. Little trick of the trade is take it like that. That's our cut. And we want to mark out our 16 inch centers beforehand. Now that's the case, that'll be the top. So I'll we'll measure it from Oh, it's not just tape. Oh, it's just tape. It's tape and a quarter. No, I know what it is. Right. I'll just have to tape that top corner. That's all. We mark out our studs. Fast. It's an easy product to install. It's uh, nice and tight. Nice and tight. But it's set up overnight. It feels feels pretty strong. Feels good. It's good insulation barrier. Lightweight. I like the I like the fact that it's lightweight. I like that uh, there's no dust, no debris.
care of a rough edge, it just grinds it down and makes it smooth. Now how are we for height here? It's easy to cut, easy to install. It's a solid backing. There's no, there's no hollowness to it. It's got a good feel to it. It's a, it's a solid, solid wall. Something worth being. Suggest gluing it onto the studs or, or just screwing it as, as well. Sufficient. You could you could eliminate the amount of screws that you use if you um, if you do that. Uh -huh. But you, what you have is a solid back wall, right? So it's not going anywhere. It's not like metal studs when you like say metal studs. If you clip the side of a metal stud, it bends on you. Yeah. You know, and this here, it's nice. And the structure is good on it, so it'll catch it nice. That's, that's one less step. This cuts down a lot of, of construction steps. Not only, uh, not only all the material that's not necessary anymore, you know, everything is prepped and ready for you. All you have to do is glue it and stick it. Well, I like the fact that you don't have to carry a ton of studs down to the basement. No, 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 no uh, stud line. Ah, you can help me out with that. Appreciate it, buddy. And it's like, I like the fact that there's no, there's hardly any waste at all. You know, it's just uh, all in all, you know, I give it an A. Yeah. I like it. You know, I've installed it now, and it's now we just wait and see how the uh, how the finish goes. And I don't, I don't foresee any problems with the finish. It seems to be, uh, seems to be like it would be okay.